In this example video, we're going to investigate the equation for decibel, investigate that calculation, and how the intensity of sound changes as the distance changes. Um, so we have a siren, hypothetical siren, and the intensity value is measured at 20 watts per square meter when the receiver is only 3 meters from the source. So we can calculate that decibel value. We'll do so. Next, we're going to move the receiver to 36 meters away from the source, a factor of 12 further away, and we'll determine the new decibel value at that location in a couple different ways. So a crude drawing of the source of sound is emitting sound around into a sphere, we're going to say for the siren. It's not a beam of sound. It's being emitted into a sphere. That will play a role in uh, part B. So our decibel uh, formula is the decibel value is equal to 10, the number 10, multiplied by the base 10 logarithm of the quantity, the sound intensity, divided by the reference intensity. We're, we're just barely able to hear is the uh, agreed on interpretation. And this I naught value is uh, a constant. It's 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. So we have the numbers we need. We go ahead and do this direct calculation. So we have 10 log I is 20. I naught is 10 to the minus 12. What's your first step here? Do you apply the log to the 20 and then the log to 10 to the minus 12? I'd recommend that you do 20 divided by 10 to the minus 12. So you'll have to activate your uh, uh, calculator to do that, perhaps, or know the principles of division that when we divide by this uh, 10 to the minus 12, that's going to generate a factor here, 10 to the plus 12 as a multiplier. And then we have 20 changed to 2, so we get 2 times 10 to the 13th. Now we can take the logarithm of this, and this you will need your calculator to uh, come up with that value. So we get 13.3, when we do the log calculation, is 13.33, and sorry, 13.30. And lastly, we multiply by 10. So do the division, activate the log function on your calculator for this number, lastly, multiply by 10. Those are the steps, and we come up with a decibel value that's fairly large, 133 is a very loud sound. Now, we're going to move to a new position. When we, the sound is emitted into a sphere, the intensity of the sound varies as 1 over r squared. r is the radius of a sphere away from the sound emitting point. So when we're 36 meters away, we start with our 20 watts per square meter. That was at 3 meters. We're going out to 36 meters. These numbers must be squared. The intensity is not linear with distance and falling off. It's an inverse square property. So this happens for sound, also happens for light. The intensity decreases as a factor of r squared, by a factor of r squared. So our new intensity can be found now. And this new intensity, if you, and you should pause and do your own calculation here, the new intensity is 20 times 3 squared divided by 36 squared. That new intensity is 0.1389 watts per square meter. Another way to do this would be 20 divided by 12 squared. The distance has increased by a factor of 12. Our intensity varies as 1 over r squared. So I would divide 20 by 12 squared, and you'll get the same value, 0.1389 watts per square meter. Now let's go back to the decibel calculation. The I has changed to 0.1389. We still have I naught is 1 times 10 to the minus 12. So you do that division, you get 0.1389 times 10 to the 12 uh, is an intermediate, just doing it in your head and make the 10 to the minus 12 uh, into the numerator. We write that as a positive uh, exponent. Taking the log of that, I came up with 11.1427, again, log base 10. Lastly, multiplying by 10, I find a decibel value of 111.4. So that's the new decibel value when our distance has increased. Something worth noting here, 
is that we can find the change in the decibel value by doing 10 and log of 12 squared, the factor of distance squared. And if we were getting closer from uh, 36 down to 3 meters, we would add 21.6 to the decibel value. So 21.6 added to this, and you'll get the 133 decibel value. Or if we're moving away, then we do 1 over 12 squared, take the log of that and multiply by 10, and we get minus 21.6 decibels as occurred for this problem. And starting at the close distance, a decibel value of 133, this change in the decibel value, minus 21.6, brought us to 111.4. So um, this method's a little conceptually a little bit more difficult, perhaps, to uh, keep track of the right numbers. Um, but use the method that you're comfortable with. If you want to find the new intensity based on 1 over r squared calculation and then go through the decibel calculation, that's fine. If you do have the ratio of the distances, as long as you square that ratio, you can apply the log calculation and uh, multiply by 10 and get the change in the decibel number. So if you uh, want to investigate some other physics and astronomy videos, these websites are free, no registration. The videos are described. There's a link to the YouTube video directly at these sites. Um, if you enjoy watching uh, my YouTube videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That also is free.